the history of golf has been shaped by some legendary figures. Players and pioneers whose brilliance out on the course often helped change the game itself. Our resident coach and analyst, Simon Holmes, has been looking back at the careers of some of these greats of the game. Today, it's the turn of a player who transformed top flight women's golf, Annika Sorenstein. Annika Sorenstern was born in 1970 and was really a superstar athlete. So she was nationally ranked in tennis. She could have played on the national squad for soccer and was also a super skier. But it was her sort of her parents' passion for golf that probably persuaded her and her sister to follow that road. And thank goodness for women's golf that she took those steps. Well, she was a superstar performer, as you can imagine, and was quickly recruited by the University of Arizona to go and play college golf. Well, that's 1991. She wins the NCAA Individual Championships and six other events. So she has already dominated every place that she has played in. She would, in 1992, step out of the college program and try to get her tour card and surprisingly would miss the LPGA qualifying by one shot. So it meant that she had to come back to the ladies European tour and hone her game and probably not a bad beginning for her because she really started to compete and dominate that space. In 1995, she heads back to the United States and during that year, she would win the money titles on both the Ladies European Tour and the Ladies American Tour. She would win her first Ladies Professional Golf event in America, the Ladies US Open. And then she would defend it the next year. And this would start just an incredible run of form. So for her, those first steps in the United States, super successful. Then she sort of felt like she lost her focus and it was time for her sort of end of 1999, beginning of 2000 to refocus herself, reset her goals. She'd almost run out of energy. She'd achieved all of her goals and lost focus. So she was the first lady to really get into fitness and probably her friendship with Tiger, who at that time was the top male player, was very, very uh, critical for what happened in her next step. So from 2000 to 2005, she dominated. If you look at the ladies tour, every single record set by Annika Sorensen, broken by Annika Sorensen. So she would break all of the scoring records. The least tournaments she won in any of those years would be five events. She completely dominated that whole scene and took ladies golf into a completely different place. She had this sort of continual movement going with Tiger where he won one major, she would win the next one, who was ahead, who was behind. And I think that massively influenced how particularly men's golf was looking at her. And she would have a very interesting position on men's golf. She would come and play at the Colonial Really nothing more than to test her game, not a sort of a sideshow or I'm better or I'm anything like this. She just thought it would be an amazing opportunity for her to test her game at that next level. And it would prove to be an incredibly brave uh, experiment. Unfortunately, she missed the cut. You know, she did very, very well. I think she was the most accurate driver. She was very, very good in greens and regulations, but probably not used to those super fast greens and for Annika it drove her to higher and higher levels. From 1992 until she retired in 2008 she played in 307 events. She made 298 cuts, 72 wins, 14 second places and 24 third places. It was a complete and utter domination and in 2008 she retired at the top of the sport. And you can always remember that sort of very brisk business-like rhythm. You know, Annika had a swing where sort of kept the face of the club pointing at the ball quite a long time and then would get a lot of rotation, that sort of that very early head out of the way to keep that turn going. So it was a very, very linked movement. And I think as she got stronger and her upper body and lower body got more in sequence, she really had the most fantastic action. So apart from her complete domination of the game, I think her friendship with Tiger and the way that she was respected through the world of golf, it no longer became ladies golf. It was Annika was just golf, the world of golf. And I think she changed the game, especially for the ladies professionals. And she was globally respected just as a golfer.